If Einstein is right, right, if general relativity is correct, then yes. the universe is expanding, yes? Yes. OK, so if you reverse time, then the universe is getting smaller. All right. So what if I reverse the process all the way back to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? At the beginning of time itself? Yes. So the universe getting smaller and smaller, getting denser and denser, hotter and hotter... Well, you as mean we wind back the clock? Exactly, wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Now, next week on the Uncut blog, two blogs are going to do the annual Kermode Awards. As you probably know, the Kermode Awards are set up as an antidote to the Oscars. Rules is you can't win a Kermode Award in any category for which you've been nominated for an Oscar. That's two blogs next week. So I just want to take this last opportunity to say a little word about the forthcoming Oscars and a story which you may have read about in the press about the possible norbiting of Eddie Redmayne's Oscar chances. I'm sure you know Eddie Redmayne is currently leader of the pack to win the Oscar for Best Actor. He just won at the BAFTAs for his extraordinary performance in The Theory of Everything, in which he plays Professor Stephen Hawking, and it is a brilliant performance. And everybody thinks he's you know, absolutely on track to win, although in America it's a bit of a fight between him and Michael Keaton. You see, in America they do like a comeback story, and Michael Keaton in Birdman, he plays a character who has echoes of his own real life, somebody who was a big Hollywood star, and then he sort of you know, fell from grace and now is making a return. So he is a contender, but Eddie Redmayne is still leading the pack, or at least he was, until the opening of Jupiter Ascending. Now, in Jupiter Ascending, which is the new film by the Wachowskis, which is completely mad, Eddie Redmayne basically plays an evil space lord who, for all intents and purposes, is a cranked up version of Emperor Ming from Flash Gordon. And it is one of the most extraordinarily camp and over-the-top performances you have ever seen. Eddie Redmayne decides to play the whole thing without moving his lips because he's indicating that the way in which an evil space lord would be evil is to demonstrate that he can't move his mouth and to talk all the time as if something really strange is happening below his waist just off screen. It is a performance which has to be seen to be believed and frankly I rather like Jupiter Ascending. I mean it's bonkers, it's nuts, it's all over the place. If you want overblown, overambitious science fiction, the Wachowskis are the people to do it and Eddie Redmayne's performance is every bit as mad as the film itself and some people think that the performance is so extraordinarily poor that it's actually going to hamper Eddie Redmayne's chances of winning at the Oscars. And this is called Norbiting. Why? Well, several years ago Eddie Murphy was a dead cert to win the Oscar for Best Sporting Actor for his performance in Dreamgirls, one of the best things he'd done in ages. Everybody said he was going to win, he'd won a bunch of other awards, he was coming up to the Oscars, and then on Oscar night, he lost. Why? Well, the reason it was given was that Norbit, which is one of the most unfunny and, crucially, offensive comedies made in years, had opened in cinemas, and all that goodwill, all that wonderful reassessment of Eddie Murphy's talent just went straight out the window because people, all they could see was the spectre of Norbit. Now, it's apparently not just connected to Eddie Redmayne this year. Julianne Moore is currently an absolute dead cert to win the Best Actress Oscar for her extraordinary performance in Still Alice, which hasn't opened here in the UK yet, but it's done very, very well in America. However, in America, audiences can also see Julianne Moore in Seventh Son, a film for which the reviews have been, well, let's say mixed. We won't see it here until uh, March, but over in America, they've already given it the thumbs down, and Julianne Moore is getting as much flack as it's possible to get. So, the current contention is that both Eddie Redmayne and Julianne Moore have norbited their chances of getting an Oscar. What do I think? Firstly, I think they are both going to win. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Jupiter Ascending may be mad, but it's not offensive. Secondly, in the case of Julianne Moore, Seventh Son would have to be really, really terrible to undermine the extraordinary groundswell support that she has for Still Alice. And thirdly, and I think this is the most important thing, when the tide turned against Eddie Murphy, it wasn't because Norbit was a bad film. It was because Norbit was a repugnant film. A film that people didn't dislike, they actively hated, and for very good reason. It's an actively horrible film. Norbit gave us a verb. To be Norbited now means to be pushed aside when it comes to Oscar season. But my money is still on Eddie Redmayne, despite his Emperor Ming. You should have told me the truth about why you wanted her.
Not anymore. Your Majesty, I have more in common with a dog than I have with you. I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Here we go.